What is up guys, Renzo here today. We got my cousin Andrell. So today we are in part two of the K series. Uh, so we're gonna be teaching you guys how to take off uh, basically the head. We're gonna do the head first and then we're gonna do the bottom block and uh, teach you guys and demonstrate how everything is set up and how to tear it up and what sequences of bolts you have to take off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna label everything. Make sure everything is good and so yeah, let's get started with it. What we have here is we have the whole complete motor um, besides a few sensors. Um, I'm pretty sure every sensor is actually here actually um, really quick. So we have Fueled by Dreams, Created by Love. These are the t-shirts. This one is too tight on him, but I mean, he got that nice. Oh, chill. Oh, yay, yay. Okay, okay. so first off, uh, we're going to go ahead and take off the valve cover um, as Andrell is going to do like right now. So there you go. And what you see here are these rockers and there is a sequence in here. Let me do that sequence one more time just for everybody. I'm gonna put a chart right here to show you which bolts that you guys have to take off first. And so basically that's how it all goes when you're taking it off and putting it back on. So we're gonna go ahead and go take off the timing chain cover uh, so we can pull everything off. So this is the timing chain cover. There's a few bolts. Andrell already pulled most of them off. And what you wanna do after you guys pull those bolts off Always make sure to put it in a plastic bag. You're gonna forget sooner or later. Uh, but basically, they're all 10 millimeters, I believe. And you wanna take this tensioner off, and then we're gonna go ahead and take this main pulley off. So there you go, we have the rockers all in line. Uh, they're all put together. We're missing two bolts. I don't know where those two bolts are. So that's, uh, that's not that big of a problem. Right now, we're taking off the tensioner, which is over in here, so we can take off the tension on the belt and take off the cams. So that belt just comes straight off and the cams come right off as well. And so basically what we um, are needing is the special tool to take off this pulley so we can take off the timing chain cover. And then the timing chain cover allows us to take off all of the timing chain and the guides so we can take off the head. You also wanna go ahead and take out your spark plugs. The spark plugs. So what you wanna use is a 5 8 uh, extension to take out the spark plugs and you wanna go ahead and take it out like this. You can use a magnet or unless you have the coil packs, you can just use it on the coil packs. Stick it in there. Um, I have the two ZZ coil packs, but they won't fit in here. All right, so right now we're going to be using our impact. It's a 19 and we're gonna go ahead and take off the crank pulley. And so what you wanna do on this one, just get the 19, have somebody hold it, then. We kind of pre-did it already, but that's how you kind of want to do it. Show you guys a quick example for that. So there's a crank pulley, 19 millimeters. And what you guys want to do on these rockers um, is you want to go ahead and zip tie them. Let me focus that in. Uh, because there is a dowel right here and a spring. And so if it goes up, that dowel is going to pop out. And this one will pop out as well. And there's a little spring right there if you guys can see it. And if you guys don't do that properly, it'll all come out. And that's just a pain in the ass to have. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and zip tie these both together. So when they lift up, uh, you're not gonna lose all of those springs and dowels. So for the timing chain, what I like to do is, we did this on the 2ZZ as well. Um, you can just have a little bit tension on uh, right here. There's the guides. Just hold it against the guides. Uh, use a flat head. Just slowly pry it down. Hopefully you can get a little bit off. Just try both sides. As you can see, this one comes out just a little bit. And you wanna to try to get some things in here, uh, say like another flathead, you wanna put that flathead in here. And just keep prying yourself down. It's gonna be really, really tight. It is sandwiched, so it's gonna be pretty tough. Um, so we're gonna get working at it, and then we'll show you guys when it's pulled off. So me and Andrell just had those two uh, sides. We had uh, uh, one flathead here, one flathead there. And basically, we can just pull that shit off. There's also three tens here. So right here, you have the chain. And here are the guides. They're just, I believe these are 10 millimeters. Uh, there's just three of them on each side. Pull these off. And basically, we're all set. As explained earlier, um, this is how you guys want to go ahead and put the rockers together. So this part is the trickier part. Um, 
what you want to do is go ahead and get a flathead and very very carefully um, make sure not to make any scorches but go under this um, piece and just lift up and there you go you can hear that popping noise and so Andrea got the rest of that on the other side and so it should all fall off so this is basically the old school way and if you have a so basically this is the old school way and I mean if you are new school not even new school but if you have a an impact gun this is the, basically the easiest way get a uh, 14 12 point and you want to go ahead and go in the sequence like said Alright, so we went ahead and took off all of the head bolts. And so basically super easy. Just go ahead and lift off. There you go. We're gonna go ahead and take off the oil filter uh, with a tool that Andrell just had. We're gonna flip it around, take off the oil pan, and now we're exposing the oil pan, so we're gonna get all of the bolts off of the oil pan. And uh, I mean, when you put the oil pan on, there is a sequence, but right now we're just going to go ahead and take it off. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're going to go show you guys how to take off the oil pump. Okay, so we made the oil pan bolts. And right now, Andrell is just getting a hammer to a flathead. And he's just prying that thing open. It's pretty tight. So these are 14s right here. Taking them off, slow and steady. Took my gloves off for a second. Look how pretty my fingers are. Yeah, dang, you look pretty for a second. For real. Uh, that's why you guys use gloves, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now, give me that ring, boy. So right now we're taking the bottom block bolts off. Uh, I believe they're twelve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're 12s. So they're 12 all around. There's like one, two. There's like a, quite a few. You can just go ahead and find them. Look like these. Alright, so there's bolts here as well. Uh, these are for the bottom block and it connects it to um, the block. And so for the oil pump and the oil pickup. Um, all you need to do is take off this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt. Um, everything should lift up. And if you want to, here, I'll pry it just a little bit. There you go. Pull that. And so what else you want to do is you want to take off these two tens. Uh, there's two tens right here. And then you want to take these ones off. They're all 14s. Go ahead and take them off in a directional way. Have a Mako. And this shit done. So, we're going to go ahead and take these two bolts off. And we're going to go ahead and lift that oil pan block off. And let's get it. Alright guys, so, when you guys do do this, um, taking off this part of the block is going to be frustrating. Just because if it's OEM or if somebody else did it, there's a lot of gasket maker. And what you want to do is just get a flathead and start just prying it off. Um, another solution is um, there are these this um, this block it actually overlaps this hole right here it's not a bolt hole and what you can do is get a flathead and once you get the flathead you can get a knife and actually just get a knife and hammer it in so you don't mess up any of the grooves here but look how perfect that is super good I'm very, very happy of how everything is still intact and everything is still um, all nice. Nothing's not cracked. Nothing isn't uh, warped. So, all right, guys. So as we are on the crank, um, it's fairly, fairly simple. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to rebolt um, the crank fully. Um, make sure you get your torque wrench or torque gun or impact gun. Impact that back on. Um, make sure it's all tight. You can get a, is it a, it's a 19, I believe. 19. And you can just crank it, crank it until you can see all of the bolts. 
and you want to get all of these uh, connecting rod bolts off boom 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 they should slide it right off and after they slide right off you can just push them down a bit or unless they're dead centered and they should just drop um, these ones are no good so we're not going to even use them anyways they're just going to go to the garbage or like a prop display and then after that we can put the crank up and basically we'll have a bare block and we're, we're all set um, this can go to the machine shop and everything is all good if you guys do have any questions please 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 comment down below and you can ask questions maybe i can answer them if i can't answer them i'll try my best to so what you guys want to do is go ahead and get your 19 and just play around with it and as you can see the connecting rods just drop so simple way i know um that they're just gonna drop they're gonna drop with the bearings as well um, so what you just want to do is go get your two thumbs, push them down so slightly. Probably get your other fingers. If you don't do that, just go ahead and get a flat head. And they'll just drop straight on. That bearing is still on there good. And so they just drop like that. There you go. And that's basically how you take or deassemble a K24. Um, this basically goes for all K24s, um, K24, A1, A2, A3, A4, K20s. They're basically all the same. Um, and so thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good one.